Fellow Jay Walkers to another episode of Live from Last Week. Hope last week has served you well. Just a quick shameless plug before we go on. I want you guys to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel. So first of all, throwing back to yesterday evening, right after I left you guys, I decided for the first time since this Live from Last Week episode to check out the beautiful sunset over at Riverdale Park East. After being challenged by one of my friend's Facebook posts to come and find us. So guys, when I got there, I was able to say hi to my RT friends from the hospital and take this very unique 360 photo slash video of us and Toronto in the background before going to the condo, taking my motorcycle back home for the night. Anyways, after getting yet another lackluster five hour sleep last night, I decided to take a nice early morning joyride as Iron Man on the Baby Rouge before spending the day watching YouTube videos on our new possible car that we're thinking of buying while editing some live from last week videos in the foreground. And for dinner, looking at my too good to go app this evening. I went back to the local Doug Puan to pick up this decent takeout order for the wife and I to open and reveal at the condo. Yeah. Ooh. What's my favorite? That one. That one. <laughs> Enjoy this nice meal together while watching several other videos on YouTube of more potential future car purchases. Waking up early, getting less than five hours of sleep last night, I went to go and buy some groceries and noticed that the eggs here had a price that is at an all-time high, one that I haven't seen before in my life. Now moving on to the morning walk that the wife and I had earlier. Going back to a place that I rented cars with in the past. I was at the local Hertz to try to rent this white Polestar 2 electric car. And surprised the wife with one of our special surprise guest passengers, Giselle. Oh my god. <laughs> Haha, <laughs> wife surprise! <laughs> <laughs> but guys, once we opened up the car and saw that the battery was only 20 to 21%, the car rental place allowed us to rent this black Tesla Model 3 car instead. So, after getting into our rental and going to pick up and surprising my boy Cami Sue at his condo, Hi. Hi. How are you? Oh, yeah. Good, good. Thank oh, yeah. How do you open the door? <laughs> Just close the door, Cammy. Okay. okay, how do you... What's up? <laughs> okay, I think it's unlocked vehicle, that one. Okay. Did it Yeah! We figured out how to open the back. <laughs> All four of us were ready to do a day-long Tesla carpool. So, recalling when I saw this ad online, Last week, we headed up to a new market car dealership where, just like in times in the past, I was able to dance with this inflatable tube band that they had here and check out something similar to Cam's new ride, this blue Toyota RAV4 Hybrid. So after completing a quick test drive, Drag racing with this Nissan sports car. And the wife trying out this new SUV. 
We were feeling just a little bit too hungry and headed over to go to get some lunch at the local cozy sushi restaurant. And guys, this restaurant with a 4.9 star rating on Google had definitely earned its stars with several of these delicious sushi and bento style dishes that they served for us here. Then after making our way on the highway with the Tesla, we tried a feature that I haven't ever tried before. The Tesla's autopilot feature. Autopilot, engage. Oh, we're gonna make a turn, we're making a turn. Oh, oh, oh. oh really? Oh. Yeah, yeah. This is, like a, this is like a roller coaster, guys. Oh, it's <laughs> people that have things just changing lanes and what? Oh my god. This thing's actually pretty it's good. Crazy. <laughs> oh, my, yo, my heart rate's up. It's like 105. 107? Oh, okay. Hands free, legs free. Legs <laughs> free. Oh my god. And after a quick stopover at this Hamilton Double Decker McDonald's, we found ourselves at the Hyundai dealership in Brantford to try the latest model of the 2024 Hyundai Kona N Line SUV. Then, with the wife test driving this car out, and me finally being a passenger in the back seat. We dropped her off at the Flamborough Golf and Country Club, a place where she will be coordinating a wedding later this year, before Cammy tried his luck with the car's lane assist feature. Do a pretty good job, right? And we turned the car back to the dealership. Next, while waiting to charge the Tesla at a local supercharging station, we got some takeout A&W, but not before we marked down the date for the next Burgers for MS event on August 22nd. But now, making it back home to Scarborough after a very productive day out, just test driving several cars, we're just going to do a quick birthday shout out to one of the coolest DJs in the world who I actually have worked with in the past and who DJed my wedding. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Sean. Happy birthday, Sean. I'm hoping that at this time, you and your family are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and that you had a great celebration for your birthday this year. Guys, check out this creepy feature that we saw last night on the Tesla's dashboard while waiting at a traffic light in Saga. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh boy. What? Oh, there's there's nobody there. Oh, he's coming back. Oh, joking aside, this morning, getting up earlier than I wanted to on yet another night of minimal rest, I decided to just finish up editing Live From Last Week episode 190 for tomorrow morning's release before going on yet another road trip with our Tesla rental alongside just with the wife this time through the downtown core to take a two-hour trek to St. Catharines to look in person at this Hyundai Kona N SUV that both the wife and I were interested in. But unfortunately guys, taking this long road trip to this Hyundai dealership here, when we got there, the salesman told us that that exact Kona N was actually sold. But we weren't leaving here without actually test driving something special. Being able to take a ride in this Hyundai Elantra N. 
where the wife not only enjoyed just the passenger experience, but also the driving experience in this baby as well. And guys, once we returned to the dealership, we actually ran into my boy who we last saw downtown several weeks back. Antoine! We're back! Yo. We're back! Yo. <laughs> United! <laughs> Friday! 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 But alas, after needing some time to think about getting a new car again, we headed back on another two hour trip back to Toronto with a quick stopover at another A&W for the second time in as many days to have the wife test drive the Tesla rental for the first time before I go in after doing two long days full of road trips for my first of a scheduled two night shifts tonight. But guys, before I do, I have a quick birthday shout out to one of my fellow Wizard of Oz production slash dance classmates from back in the day. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Jenna. Happy birthday, Jenna. I'm hoping that everybody that has their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. After taking the TTC to my busy night shift, Last night, I had surprised one of my coworkers, Gomes, with this new ride for our commute home. Okay. It's right there. This one? Yeah. Oh. Woo! Gomes in the Tesla carpool. Yay. <laughs> Showing her the autopilot feature on her Tesla Uber. Okay, watch this. Okay. Me and you. Me yeah, and yeah, you. Yeah. Watch. Okay. Oh, well, oh, no, 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 oh, no. let's just hope we don't crash. I don't. Wow. <laughs> uh oh, is it gonna stop? Is it gonna stop? Is it gonna let's stop? <gasps> it's stopping. It's stopping. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I was also able to reveal this long awaited secret present that I had for her. So I've been waiting like over a year to do this, right? Mm -hmm. But remember how when I went to Italy and I asked you, do you want anything from Italy? And you're like, I want <laughs> Italian chocolate. Oh my God, All no right? way. So I finally have been able to hang out with you to be able to give you this Italian chocolate. Is okay. It? Okay, let's see. It's this. <laughs> <laughs> it's a kinder, but yeah. Italian. Oh, and it's Harry Potter. Yeah. Wow, and it's Joy. Yeah, so I have no idea what's in it. I don't even know if it's... I'm going to take this one. Yeah. I'm going to eat it today. You, you don't breakfast. have to eat it, but... Oh. Okay. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Italy. <laughs> Anyways, driving back to Hertz to return the Tesla rental. I had some nice parting words for our temporary rental that we had enjoyed for the past 48 hours. All right, bye Black Tesla. Thank you for your service. Then after walking home to take a short, quick three hour post night shift nap, I woke up and went straight to the laptop to do some research on possible Teslas that I might look at in the near future. But yeah, before I go in for my second night shift in a row tonight, we just have a quick birthday shout out to one of my friends who's one of the most talented singers I've ever seen and who I last saw during his performance with Timmy at 1 King Street West. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Paul. Happy birthday, Paul. I'm hoping that everybody that has their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. So post shift getting home trying to take a nap, guess who just wasn't able to pass out after lying down for a bit? Getting absolutely no record of sleep earlier today. 
And so, getting up, planning to go to this weekend's Taste of Manila near Bathurst and Wilson. I looked outside only to see these ominous clouds overhead that were ready to wash out any plans that I had outdoors today. So then instead, I got pretty excited doing some online car shopping on my laptop, getting hungry and opening up my Too Good To Go app, going back to the Kennedy location of the local Tagpuan, and getting some takeout dinner for the wife and I to share after her day shift. Anyways, before I go back to trying to catching up on some lost sleep that I missed out on earlier today, I just have a quick birthday shout out to one of my former co-workers who I remember taking downtown on several mini carpools after our night shifts. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Kennedy. Happy birthday, Kennedy. I'm hoping that everybody has their birthdays today, are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. So after finally being able to sleep, but not yet caught up, only passing out for five and a half hours last night, I woke up early to do some research on some more potential cars that I might buy in the near future. Then, after going to Sunday morning Catholic Mass at the local St. Lawrence the Martyr Catholic Church, after canceling my plans to go here yesterday, I made my way to the Bathurst and Wilson area of Toronto to check out the 2024 version of this year's Taste of Manila Festival. The fun times that we had yesterday enjoying the sights and sounds of the Taste of Manila Festival. Where for the second time this week, I was able to dance alongside an inflatable tube man. I managed to run into a fellow YouTuber who is famous for their informational and quite entertaining walking tours of Toronto. But since I saw him and didn't want to interrupt him too much, as he was filming content or possibly live streaming, I was still able to quietly shoot this quick video with him. Johnny Strides. To be honest, a pretty nice guy and a message for him. Keep on inspiring fellow YouTubers like me with their content out there. Johnny Strides. But moving on, as I was about to purchase some Filipino food at a local food vendor booth, I saw this message on one of my $5 bills, which had taken me to this Where's Willie website that had tracked the movement of where exactly this $5 bill has been. So after putting in some information of just exactly how this bill was spent, I used it to buy this Filipino Ilocos empanada for the wife who had this reaction when I delivered it to her at the condo. Ooh, Ooh, what is this? <laughs> what is Ooh, it? This is, this is the thing too. The... 
It's us. It's us. Hi. Open it up. Oh my god. Okay. I tried it. Yeah, I just had a nibble. Oh, wow. How is it? Mm. Does it taste just like straight from the Philippines? Yeah. <laughs> You're welcome. Beep. Afterwards, recalling this first time playing beach volleyball at Rendezvous last week. The team needed subs for last night's game again. Why then rode the motorcycle downtown in the rain to get to the beach courts at Rendezvous? Only to have most of the team not show up because of the forecasted thunderstorms in and around the area of the GTA. So I made use of the courts, taking some solo time to practice some of my volleyball skills while wet in the rain. Before helping sub in to some of these teams that were behind me, playing in some of their matches. But now, on to today, waking up early after less than 6 hours of sleep again. Staying up all day before I go in for my first of 2 night shifts tonight. And a busy lack of sleep next couple of days, if you ask me. I'm still doing research on more possibilities of different cars that I might test drive or buy in the near future. Anyways, with that, we'll wrap up this week's Live From Last Week episode right here. So, if you guys have enjoyed what you've been watching, feel free to follow Jay Walker POV on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Be sure to like and share this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notifications bell to be notified when new videos from Jay Walker POV come out. And once again, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Stay safe and healthy out there, and we'll see you next time on Live From Last Week.